All right, all right. Let's give some hand waves this morning. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. And um, if you're a guest on this morning on mine and, and Coach Myra Miles coaching Zoom, we, we welcome you this morning. Uh, and I know, I think April's joining us this morning. Uh, she did. She's, I yeah. see her. That's awesome. Hey, April. Good to see you. So, Glad you're on, and uh, we're going to kick this thing off. And here's the thing. Everybody you see on here, I'm going to say this for the guest. Uh, this, this replays live on my business page on Facebook. I encourage you to follow Coach Myra Miles all across social media, all different platforms. Just gives great, great things throughout the week and weekend uh, to follow. And you can go to my YouTube page and see the recording of this, too. But we encourage you to bring any guest you ever want to on here. We're from all walks of life and all different paths and all across the, the states and in other countries. You know, it's just, um, it's, it's, it's really a really neat community. And speaking of that, um, Anthony Moreland sent me something this morning out of Texas. And I asked Anthony to jump on real quick. And he sent me over. It just shows you the community, community we're part of. He kind of woke me or not woke me up, but sent me something early this morning of some, you know, of something he was reading of something he was studying. Of, and I go, man, that just is affirmation that, 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 that birds of a feather flock together. So Anthony, if you will unmute and kind of share what you, the two things. Okay. Uh, well, it was a couple of quotes that's in this power of attitude book. I read every morning when I wake up and the first one said failure is, is the only opportunity to begin again more intelligently. Intelligently, that's by Henry Ford. And then it says, "Opportunity looks bigger going than coming." And then William James stated, "Action and feeling go together, and by regulating the action, we can directly regulate the feeling." Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. And thanks for thanks for sending it to me uh, this morning. Uh, the word is compete, and I'm going to jump right into it, compete, because um, I think we've all, this word has been, has been used. You know, I go back to, you can look at it two ways. One says to strive to gain or win something by defeating or establishing superiority over others who are trying to do the same. I played a lot of sports growing up, you know, and you just wanted to dominate the, the you know, the, 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 person you were going up against and you know but there's another definition to strive consciously or unconsciously for an objective such as a position a profit or a prize you're in a state of rivalry but i kind of look at that definition and go you're kind of talking about yourself you're in a state of rivalry with yourself because you're 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 going after something you're going after a prize a position or something and i got a quote the best part of competition is that through it, we discover what we are capable of and how much more we can actually do than we ever believe possible. We kind of talked yesterday about that, you know, or this week already about, man, there was sometimes I, I, I got jobs or I did something. I thought there's no way in the world I'm going to do that. Matter of fact, what I'm doing currently today, I thought almost a decade ago, there is no way. I will be able to do this ever go full time. Like, are you kidding me? Network marketing. And then I look up today and I've been full time for several years, you know, and I've done something that I didn't think was possible, but it was just putting one foot in front of the other and competing. Um, no competition, no progress. If you consistently compete with others, you become bitter. But if you consistently compete with yourself, you become better. Mm -hmm. And so I want to share this with you. Think about this now. Life is a competition. Life is a competition, but it's not a race against anyone else. Rather, the real journey is only against yourself and your unrealized potential. Okay? And I love, you know, I say this a lot, but I said, you know, we got to be careful as humans because we got a lot of ego inside of us. We our competition. Sometimes we look at other people's plates 
while our plate is getting cold. Have you ever been guilty of that? I know I have. Where somebody's having more success than me, somebody's doing this or doing that, or they're getting the accolades, and I'm over there looking at their plate, and mine's getting cold, nasty, while I'm sitting there. And that's kind of where I want to go. Why? I want to ask two things. Why should we compete with ourselves? Okay. Well, number one, you have a much healthier measure of your success. Number two, you get a better sense of what you're capable of. Number three, you get to define your own success. Number four, you become that much, you, you, you free yourself of people's judgment when you're competing with yourself. And the fifth thing is you will never rest on your laurels. Like when, you have, when you're competing internally, you're in a different race than when you're competing against someone else. But I do want to address competing with someone else. If you're competing against others, and you know, there's a lot of ways it's, it's healthy to compete. Wouldn't you say that, Coach Myra? Like Absolutely. healthy competition with other people. That's not a bad thing. No. But here's some ways to do it the right way. Number one, reward people based on their merit, not regardless of the, I mean, regardless of, sorry, re, reward them based on their merit. Participation trophies create an environment of mediocrity. Don't do that. Ba reward them based on their merit. Number two, give honest feedback. Number three, create opportunities to play and have fun. Number four, create the right balance of teamwork and healthy competition. Congratulate your, or your opponent when they win or you win. And celebrate respectfully. Be a gracious winner. So I believe that we go through life, and I'm going to turn this to Coach, where it is very important that we compete with ourselves internally. It's healthy. It will make us grow, and we will not rest on our laurels if we do that. And it's also great to have healthy competition, but just make sure that we're working with that person and understanding that they're helping us achieve the goal we want to get. Be careful of not looking at their plate while yours is getting cold. Coach, I'll turn it to you. All right, good job, Coach. Uh, I'm going to start uh, re really quickly. First of all, I want to welcome April Marsh, one of my former students, athletes. Uh, she's a fantastic state championship coach. I'm very proud of her. Matter of fact, I consider her my own. So welcome, April. Appreciate you. I actually used her for part of my research this morning. Uh, I sent text out early this morning. I'm kind of going a different route. When Brent sent me the compete for the word, but you know what? I'm going to get in touch with some of the most competitive people that I know this morning and give me some feedback. Uh, now, I'm going to start with April because my guess is she's probably fixing to go to practice, and that look on her face is probably, Coach Miles, shut up, get to your point. So April sent me, I thought, a very valuable, her opinion of what compete is. Give your best to find a way to win not being satisfied with being mediocre. So you can constantly look for ways to improve. A hunger inside that always keeps you going. And I thought that was so powerful. Then she sent a text right after, what do I have up my sleeve? She knows me well enough to know I was working on something. So anyway, April, thank you so much for that. Uh, but you know, what does compete mean to you? Our little family this morning, what does it mean to you? Now, the thought that came to your head first is what I want you to focus upon because that's what I ask of everybody as I'm doing all of my research for my this morning call. Here's one that I thought was pretty solid. A tough person who competes to the very end. Also raising your level to meet the levels of competition. Now, let me give you a... a an example of this, and with April on the call, she can relate to this. As a coach, coach, you can relate to this. As a coach, when you're building a program and when you're in business, if you're building your business from the ground up, you may not be as talented 
as you think you could, you know, could be. So if your team around you may not be as talented, you want to get their expectations and level to come to another level. Well, sure, you practice. You know, practice is the biggest thing. Coaching, a lot of people think that coaching success is having a fit on game day. It's not. You build all of that success at practice time. But another way to do that is look for people that are better than you. I look for people constantly that are above me, that I want to get at. I pick their brain. So what do you do as a coach? You schedule tougher competition. I know when we were at Brooks High School, we were a 4A school, but we constantly competed at a high level and played four or five and six A schools then and tried to compete. That's what April does. April looks to compete. Now, she's at, her program's at one of the top, but that's how we get better as individuals is we compete and we look for people to help us become better. Another, another quick uh, re uh, reply back, accepting the challenge to be the best. So what do we do when we're challenged by someone? I know when I talk to Coach Palmer, if I'm kind of down in the tank about something and he challenges me with something, guess what? You know, I've talked to Ant a few times. Ant will tell you the worst thing that won't happen to me is I don't want to disappoint Brent. You know, so it's a challenge. But to win, to beat others who have the same goals as you. Mr. Don Hewlin, who was one of our guests uh, on here one Friday, he, he simply said, give your best, period. That was his text back to me. Really successful baseball coach. Always work towards a standard, no matter what the circumstance. What's your standard as an individual to make you want to be, to compete to be the best? And then I got this from Mr. Aaron Decker, who we all love, to do my absolute best at whatever I'm competing in. If I'm in a bacon eating contest, I want to win it. If I'm in a pencil drawing contest, I want to win it. You get it? Be the best. And then the last one that I got from someone that reached out, I had a lot of respect for, and I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going to get this big text. It simply said three letters with an exclamation point, win. Now, how are you looking at win? You're gonna compete to win. Do you know what? Sometimes we win and we compete and we may not win on the scoreboard, but we win because we competed and got better that day. So. I just kind of used a whole different angle today uh, as I started looking in books because y'all know I'm a reader. Uh, then I started thinking I'm reaching out to people today because this is a big deal. So thank y'all for jumping on. April, thank y'all for coming on. You need to get your team in involved one day. We'll have them a special message for you. We'll actually get you on the call one morning. So, yes, definitely. Have a great day, y'all. Thank you so much. Coach, thank you so much for that. Yeah, and and – yeah, you know, I'm going to leave with this. The last part you talked about was one thing I hashtag every single day, is, and it's for me, hashtag win the day, win the day. If we really mean that, like we're going to go out today and win the day, and we string those wins together, oh, wow. Yes. What happens? Thanks, Coach, for that word. April, Thank you all. for joining us this morning. Have a great Love practice. Have a great day. See you. Appreciate you guys.